But the one difference in that draft was they actually had two heroes, whereas Navi only have one who's going to be that front line, and he will be buying BKB assuredly. Like, there's no way he can function in this game without it. So he's probably either going to go BKB. Oh man, this is going to kick off level one fights when you've got Funny. He's got the snowball available, and here we go with the snowball. It's a big daddy. The sentry's already been dropped with the fish. You're coming out from misery. Stopping aggression straight away. Is anyone going to go down here? Navi no, keeping themselves to the south. There's been a nightmare onto you in for Here we go, of course, with the crush trying to chase this one down. Bring every load here with the raises. One more slap will do it. Of course, trying to slip him away towards it. So they go here with the yes, missile coming through. We know that's your first bird on Envy. Now they turn to fire. They'll get the viper as well. Then you get low, he will fall. Big Daddy's gonna fall as well. It's a three for one going on here in the bottom lane. Navi turning up to the fight with an absolutely incredible beginning. Funny gets himself a double kill. If you have Shadow Walk on Bounty Hunter and it's like off cooldown, you can actually do a pretty reasonable amount of bonus damage. His goal is making sure that Danny doesn't get a good start. Like, it's gonna be a lot harder to slot some Slardar. Well, Danny actually good. moving forward very aggressively here, and he's gonna get called yeah, out by a Fisher, and he is certainly dead. That's gonna be a kill there for Fast on the Viper and the Fisher. And look, the Sentry Wars just going on here in between these two. So Naiko with the, uh, with the brains have got to just get rid of that ward there with the Tango. But uh, I think we've seen about four sentries being dropped down here to try and secure this mid lane between these two heroes. And here we go, Denny Moore moving forward here with the raises. Finally getting low. There we go with the second raise. We'll find the Viper. Now they look for BDN. They haven't got the raises to follow through again. So BDN's going to be okay getting himself back. Funny. He's level five here on this Tusk. You look at Bone 7, he's, he's level two on the bottom. And he might be in trouble now. And they've got the Nightmare here. Here comes a boss, slithering himself in with the crush. Can they get the damage through before Bone 7 gets him out? Oh, he might just escape. No! He can't join in time. He's going to go down. That's going to be a kill here for her boss, who is uh, who's already farming at a pretty insane rate. Thanks to that kill. Back up in Misery and Bone 7. The Horst is there with the backup though for Na'Vi. And here we go. Moving forward here. Maybe seeing if he can find Big Daddy. No, he's actually going to turn his attention towards the lane. He wants to find Bone 7. Bone 7 trying to get himself away, but he's oh, in a lot of trouble. So Naka with the wrap round. The puck's going to fall. That will be a kill in Art Star. Mm -hmm. lane. Talking about kills. They're looking for EE. And EE is left all on his own here. Funny. If he can find the Ice Shell, which is Certainly will. Here we go with the snowball. The backup's going to be coming in in the form of two TVs, but it's too late. He is going to go down. Father's turned up. No, he can't find a kill in return because there's a nightmare. Oh, it's not long enough because he's been toggled off by Bone 7. Bone 7 there helping Far to get this kill on Art Style. Should be able to find it. There we go. We'll find it. At the same time in the jungle, Phonic's been caught out by Misery and Big Daddy. Here we go with the chase down. Looking for this, and they've got the back of a father who does get the start with the body block from Misery. Phonic punches him up. I don't think he's going to be able to finally kill out this one. Has he got enough mana for Ice Shards? No, he's got enough. No, for no. He's dead. He's a gonzo. So that, that was a good trade there for Cloud9. In some sort, they did lose their carry. It was even. Like, they, Cloud9 got more gold, but like you said, they lost their position one. And the kills they got were not really that low. That's a good thing. The more that he farms, the easier it is going to be to hit that mech oh, time. seven. Needs to be careful. Art Star looking to see if he can set something off in. If Bone 7 says, I'm out. I'm out. Here we go. TP's all the way back to base. Does not want to stick around in that one. That top lane, we're also gonna see Emmy get killed again by Wait, that was a solo Tusk kill? Uh, Tusk might get punished for this one, though. It's fine, though. Like, even if he dies, whatever. He got a solo kill on the carry, and he spent his gold before he died. Wait, can Arstar and Snake find anything off the back of this? That is super hashtag worth. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Things happening here for Cloud9. And funny, can Arstar smoke up? Oh, what a sentry. Oh, oh, he's just gonna be out for it, so there shouldn't be an only no, miss. miss. Oh, that is unfortunate for the side of Na'Vi, as uh, Big Daddy will be able to get himself out of there. There's coming in back up Havorst here. He's got the blink. They don't expect it. Straight on to Fada. Here we go with the Ice Shard, trapping him in as well. Fada turning around with the Viper Strap, but that's all it's going to be. The Walrus Punch there from Funny, finishing off the Viper as, uh, well, blink tag. I wonder if Na'Vi, uh, they have Shadow Fiend in the area, so I guess they will probably react to this, unless for some reason... Oh, no, they're going to go on top. Oh, at the same time, there's bottom, there's a kill. Funny's going on further on his own. At the bottom, I think we should watch this because Dandy in a lot of trouble. Envy, Bone 7, and Misery go for the kill. Top lane, there's a kill going on as well as Funny was able to finish off far to there with the help of Art Style and Seneco. So it's a uh, well kill. And the question is, I mean, can Cloud9 really do enough to jump on them? Bone 7 still doesn't have the money for his blink, so they don't really have a huge amount of initiation. They don't have to use aggressively. Yeah, this could be a questionable fight for Cloud9. Here we go with the flare as well. Coming down onto Funnick. It's been a dream call, but it only catches Funnick. The cooldown, it is doing a lot as he moves in. We'll be able to find Funnick. Oh no, Funnick's still alive. Now they've killed him. There's a fish come onto Bone 7. The boss will be able to finish him off. The boss getting himself out is a four, well, sorry, a two for one so far. Cloud9 did get themselves a track kill, but they do lose Viper and Puck for it. Chasing. And Cloud9, they're certainly looking to initiate themselves here with a wraparound into their own jungle, Havorce. 
Uh, has been spotted out, of course, by this one. They know he's there. And here we go. Bone 7 jumping straight forward here. The chance being thrown out as well. Dreamcast double connect. And MB coming in with a cooldown. Straight into the boss. That's the one. That's the two. That is two track kills there. Going the way of Cloud Niners. And this is exactly what you don't want to let happen to himself and her boss. Navi actually smoking up into Roshan. They could try and go in it for it here with the Amplifier. At the end, the Sentry was going to spot out Big Daddy. Big Daddy gets blown up. I have to fight this. They do have Blink on Misery, though, so the Echo could come in huge. This is actually a very good choke point. It's just a matter of the BKB timings, and honestly, if Dyer's anyone from Navi is going to have it, we be ready. Okay, oh, so Denny, Denny has this. Denny goes in first, not the big deck of Tower. Lost, but he's in heavy, and here comes the missing player, but BKB has been popped. Denny going in here with a record for the races. Double kill for Denny. Now turning his attention toward Envy. Money trying to control Fada, but Envy trying to clean up. Oh, the Echo's out from Misery. Finds our cell as well. It's the three for two trade. Empty the side. Denny TPs himself out, does not want to stick about. And Cloud9 actually enabling themselves to come out on top of the trade. And now thanks to that, it is it is heading back towards the way of oh, a board. He's all alone, he's gonna look for Bone 7, he is gonna find the kill. Now with the bash on Big Daddy, it doesn't matter though. He does end up losing his life here. That was a double damage shower, by the way, that was pain. So much more painful when you lose a fight. Like it wasn't just the fact that they've lost a Roshan fight. for it, walks under the sentry. Dendi, Funic, and Artstyle, the whole gang are there. Yeah, that was... go, I'm sure there's a fair... Fair bit of content left in this game. I'm sure it's not going to finish anytime soon. Funny though, is getting caught out here. Look at the TV Funny 7. Drops the dream, Carl. Says you're not going anywhere. Immediately run away. What have you really done? Like, and you're a position one hero. And middle lane, Big Daddy is just going to get killed here. So you get caught up. Right now, Cloud9 looking, uh, looking to be on the up and up. They secure the tier one in the off lane. They did lose their bounty, but that's not really that big. Of a oh, here we go. In fact, they want to find a kill as well. They might just get it. Zaneko caught out on his own. Part of their blinking forward on this blink viper. Quite interesting. Typically revolves around going like BKB and then one damage item. But if he gets butterfly, it's good against both the rake that carries. Oh, he's gonna get caught. He's going straight the back. Oh, misery with the echoes that they turn this one around. Or can they? Then he gets the BKB on. He's getting low. Try to find Envy. We'll get them both there. Both misery as well. Envy, of course, has got the Aegis. Will be back for round two. The rest of Navi getting themselves out of there. So it's essentially Aegis and Slaughter too. So yeah, I think end, it was pretty much just the BKP was able to save the force and get himself out of that yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. In the end, I think it's a it's one of those situations where it's still probably better for Navi that that happened, because now they're not going to have the Aegis with my art style going in. Yeah, here we go. Envy's turning up and he's got a butterfly this time. Fights an Echo. Now looking for art style as well. Envy just fighting up against the tower because he doesn't care. Mega kill streak for Envy. Clears yeah. up the both of them. He had Nightmare. Oh, he didn't even have the butterfly. The butterfly was still on the courier. Hadn't quite got himself out to him. Maybe he was expecting Envy to BKB if he tried a Nightmare. Either way, you still want to make him use the charge, right? Like, there's no reason not to cast Nightmare there. Oh, fight's going on in a couple of places here, Fight. Going in on Envy. We're seeing them look for a Vorst here in the river. We'll watch Funny versus Envy because Envy's actually trying to turn this around. Funny pops the BKB. And uh, her force is actually coming in as well to help. Envy turning this one around here. Looking for the lifesteal here. Certainly finding it. Keeping herself up with the bash. Is there a little bit too much as oh well? The evasion helping quite a bit. Not enough. Envy's going to go down. Big Daddy does not want to stick around for this one. Misery as well on the side. Big Daddy, he's eyeing up. He's eyeing this up, but I think he's just going to keep himself nice and hidden. It's come around to just 1,000 lead and oh, Dendi. Dendi, let's get rid of the graph now. Dendi's actually forced to pop the BKB here. Misery and No Tail scouting him out. The Dirty going to be back up. Dendi blinking forward. Winning to find Misery, but Misery forced out himself away. Oh, he put himself away. Fires turn up with a completed Manta style. That's a kill for them as they take down the Shadow Fiend. And that's an extra, extra bit of gold there, of course, with the track as well. The swings are going to be even more severe than they have been. Actually, he might have had it when they killed Dendi. I'm not sure. He has quite a bit of experience. Oh, oh, echo. Oh, oh, echo straight in, but the counter plays there. Art start with a fiend's grip. So Nako, the bait there. They actually have a word as it can be. And Cloud9, are they, to go? are they actually going to get away with killing us and no contention whatsoever? Oh, Their slaughter is not here. Seven, jumping forward. Dream call and winning rift onto two, creating the space for Envy to finish off Rochak. And now Fire blinking forward on Snake. Oh, I've got the feature for the Lego. The Mystic Flash one, and that's for the Snowball. They take down Viper. It's going to be a one for one as they did lose the Skyrath Mage here. The Viper continues. A force going in straight for Envy here. Envy, though, gets himself up to the high ground there.
And is that going to be it for the time being? Na'Vi just backing themselves up. They don't want to fight into this. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Actually, pop the fortification for this one. Shards just trapping Envy up. They're going to block the stairs here as well, but there's four out of the five members of them have Blink, but Hog straight out to Big Daddy. Of course, here we go for the bashes. Finds the bounty hunter. There's going to be a call out from Envy coming around from the back. What's his big He's walking into more of them, though. He's trying to man up. He has got the ages. He's ready for round two. There is still an Echo Sound available. Denny here with the Requiem. And now they're going to look for Envy. Can they kill him again? Funny punching up onto the Misery Earth Shaker. Will take him down. Envy bringing Funny Glow. But now Denny the Force focus him and they'll bring down the Giant Copter. Father, he'd be free stripped up here. By art style, art style. No, oh, he lives with the knife that keeps himself alive. Both seven's gonna fall. Art style lives. It's a team wipe, and Narvi lose nothing. What a fight there for Narvi. That was. What the? That was insane. Uh, XP wise as well, it's emulated. It's come up to 20,000 difference in terms of XP. We're XP getting into uh, Envy Rapier territory, I think. Well, mate, so Nathan's gonna get caught out. They're gonna drop the Dream Coil as well. They'll be able to find the tier two here. Cloud Knight. Bottom tower the has up. fallen. Yeah, th this is turning into a rave. Very good at farming. So the fact that Havos has managed to maintain this level of CS is pretty nuts. CP coming in onto this bottom lane. It is going to be Bone 7. I'm oh, sorry, Eternal Envy on his own. Uh, the rest of Na'Vi might look for a wrap round here. They're going to jump forward and they want to go for it. Fiends group wants Envy straight away the snowball as well. Fighting's trying to help Envy water out, but it doesn't matter. Envy's already dead. Of course, he does not have buyback. 90 seconds here onto the sideline. And the rest of Cloud9 back Daddy's to the base. Big Daddy No Tail nopes the hell out of there. No, he doesn't have it. 500 gold. He isn't going to have it for 90 no seconds. Tail. Is he dying too? I think he might be. And he's got Blink. He he still still dies, dead. Dead. Yep, dead. Unfortunately, you cannot disjoint Arcane. <laughs> he's trying so hard, but Viper is just not that good of a right hero. What can they do to stop this? Well, Misery is going to pop down the Fisher. So they're going to miss a play a little bit off the mark, but Misery able to get himself out of there. A Vorse trapped up. Can they kill a Vorse? No, a Vorse the BKB. He's got a hell of a lot of a HP and armor to get through. And that's actually funny with his very ballsy snowball going straight in. Ah, he's going to be fine though. He's got a Shadow Blade. Waltzes himself back out. Dream Cold controlling a Vorse in art style. And now MB moving in with a cooldown. Will catch onto a Vorse. Can they chase this down? It doesn't look like they want it yet. Farta blinking. What? He wants to go for more onto a Vorse. They're trying to find it. Funny for the shadow back, trying to block off the side of Cloud9. Cloud9 continue to chase your scepter, but the Lotus Orb uses himself as well. Now the fish from downtown to get to Echo Samuel to Arcel. They've found a force. Arcel's still blind now. Funny at the snowball. He's going to try to do what he can, but I think he's dead anyway. Art style falls. Funny, he's able to blink himself out. He's up. They've got the trap. They see him. They know he is. There's no hiding. Funny goes down as well. Cloud9 fight three heroes, and they do defend the base. That is the fight that Cloud9 needs to keep themselves in this game. That was very fast. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, 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 wake oh, him up. No. In trouble. He's going to be focused on by the entirety of Na'Vi. They'll bring him down. And actually, well, Soneko's looking for more. Blinks very aggressively for Now, Barta brings on to him. Buy back here from Misery. He wants to try and help him with the team here. The Crush catching out EE. He's the Mystic Player by MP. And he points up, but he points up, he can be. And the Life Steal brings himself back up to the Fuse Grip. On to Barta holding it in place. And getting right. But he's down to find the Ghost of Oz. Echo Slam. Dendy's low. Dendy goes down. It's a 3 for one So far, Cloud Knight coming out top. They might even be able to find Arsal here as well. Chasing this one to down. Arsal here with the Juke. Trying to himself out now. The Nightman wants to be touched to ensure that they can't jump. It doesn't matter. He's going to go down as well. Double kill for Farta on Viper. They do lose Eternal Envy, but they find four heroes off the side. and doesn't want to let that happen. He looked at the moon and said, Oh, oh hey, Bone oh. 7, they're jumping in. The Echo Sam's going to punch him, but it's not enough because Bone 7's dead. He's really getting Fiend Script up here by Arsenal. Looking for the kill and the strip out to find it. They'll get Earth Shaker. There's no Viper. I shot. Oh! They don't quite catch up, but it doesn't matter. A force blinking forward, but now he's actually on the wrong side of the shards. Looks like it's going to be okay, though, because the rest of Cloud9 do not want their Earth Shaker. Popping out the fortification. Who's going to make the first jump? Dyer's top barracks. Oh, it's not going to be before these rats go down. They've already found half of the rats. There's the other half. There's going to be the nightmare on Tabata. It's moving forward to BKB now. Now they're trying to go for this one on Tabata. Here we go. He's actually using Apple Lone Storm, actually reflecting the Amplify on Tabata. Of course, he's going to melt because of this. And Teddy falls as well. Envy, he's just doing too much damage. Funny, he's the only one left here in this fight at the moment. Oh, no, hang on. There's a prisoner. 
look at that with the Aegis. He's going to be for round two. Below the sword again. He's not going to do anything this time. They've brought down the, uh, Eternal Envy. Eternal Envy buys back. BDN will fall by his daddy. Shot and tell. Why back? The double yours. They're into the air. It's perfect synchronization. Now they're going to chase down her force. Cloud Nine, the four of them. They're ready to find this kill. Misery's going to block it off. He doesn't even need to. That's the one. They're facing for more. Fisher catches Funny. They've got the track as well. They're looking here for the Tusk. Funny going to blink himself away. He's got the sigil to help slow down the side of Cloud Nine. Body Seven trying to chase this down here. And Misery, it looks like they're going just a bit out of range. They've got a missile coming in as well. This actually be a return or something. Is they looking to do it? Doesn't matter. This got the slow. Going to Body Seven. Now Funny blinks away. It's the great escape. Do you think of that? But no, the Fisher, the missile. Funny dead. Four heroes down on the side of Nalbi. Cloud Nine. Now they want to push. Now they need to do something with this time. Barbacks are available though on the entirety of Navi Bar art style on the bank. But again, what a fight from Cloud9. But they did use the buybacks to recover that one. I, uh, where, what happened? Like, Owen, please. This is the point where I asked you one. I, I know. Yes. It's, I mean, they pretty much used every single buyback at their disposal to make sure that they could defend the base there. And you saw the difference oh, between Havos right. actually having MKB, right? Like, it is a rapier game. Like, it's, it, 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 it's always a rapier game when enemies playing a carry. Because games always somehow get to this point. This, uh, <laughs> not being their base Radiant's at the moment. They're going for throw. They're going for throw. Havos has to buy back. He can wait. He has to buy back. Oh, they so don't have 30 seconds. Here we go, Tandy going forward. On Tandy, on the right side now. With the triple and from the DKB. Now below is Robert as well. Got a buy back. Tandy's dead close. Tandy's up on Tandy's dead for two minutes. No more back on board. They won. Oh, no, no buy back. Double kill for Envin. Funny on the run. He's going to fall as well. Three heroes down. No buy backs available. Now Cloud9 look for the tier 4 They're going to look for the agent as well. Is this... Big damn. Come on. Try to get my heart. No, that was Envy. Oh, that was Envy. That was Envy. <laughs> what a way to end the game. He dropped his headset. He dropped his headset. That's about how I feel <laughs> when I watch Only this MB. game. Only Envy right? would do that. Okay, so as long as Cloud9 plays Dota 2, I will never fully understand the what game. What the hell? Well, Cloud9, so that's their...